To say that Joaquin Phoenix carried this film is the most egregious understatement of the century. I'm shocked it didn't break his back, which doesn't look too hard to do given his frail stature here. His performance was consistently fantastic. If the rest of this matched that standard, we'd be talking about a stunning, standout successor that equals the original, or possibly even surpasses it with its uptick in innovation and originality. Sadly, we didn't get that movie. We got Joker Folie Deux instead. It's French! At first, while sitting in the cinema watching this, I was thinking, this is actually quite good. Impassioned acting, creative cinematic sequences, emotional moments. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Then the third act happened. What a fucking disaster. What a waste. This movie is like the anti-Joker, and not in a good way. In my opinion, the first film works for four integral reasons. The lead performance, the grounded and gritty setting in conjunction with the downbeat atmosphere, the nuance in its depiction of a good man driven to evil, and the sensational score. This only gets one of those right, as while the reused tracks from the original film are still superb, they are just that, reused. The musical element feels tacked on and unnecessary, as it only really represents Arthur and Lee's fantasies and doesn't really add anything unique to the experience. They also take away from the tone at times, though they aren't nearly as dissonant as I'd feared. The songs themselves, whether covers of classics or created originally for the film, are forgettable and formulaic. The subversions of Arthur's imaginings blending with reality are gone, as every scene taking place in his head is made overtly obvious this time round. Unlike with the first film, I was also constantly taken out of the story by ridiculous contrivances and poorly planned plot points that don't make a lick of sense. That's before we get to the finale. This has to be one of the most self-destructive narrative nosedives I've ever seen. If Rogue One A Star Wars Story is an example of how a third act can save or at least immensely elevate a film, this is the paragon of how to ruin everything. It completely castrates and extirpates Joker or Arthur as a character and undermines the entire underlying purpose of both movies up to then. It strips him of everything without any satisfying reason or justification and then tops it all off with one of the most unsatisfying and insulting endings I've ever had the displeasure of enduring. It renders the whole thing meaningless and has me asking why they even made a sequel in the first place, when Joker works perfectly well as a self-contained story. Was it purely to shit on it? It felt as though Phillips specifically designed it to give the audience and any fans of the first film the finger, and it certainly had that effect on me. What the fuck was the point? To stick it to the incels? The more I think about this, the less I like it. It's deeply disappointing as someone who holds the original in high regard despite its various flaws. As I said, Phoenix is phenomenal just like before and definitely deserves some attention and awards, but he alone can't salvage this inconsistent script with a smoldering shit heap of a conclusion. Joker, the folly of a douche is not a film worth spending your hard-earned money on to watch other pictures. Just wait and catch it on whatever streaming service it gets done on if you're curious.